What's up guys, this is Nathan that I'm reviewer guy back at ye old place. Yeah, I'm on winter break from college right now, so uh yeah. Hopefully I can uh finish the re reviews for this year this year. So I'm gonna get as many out there as I can. Okay, so today we'll be reviewing the new Flyleaf album, Between the Stars. Uh, this is the band's fourth album, first with Kristen May on vocals, because Lacey Stern left a while ago. And, you know, she went to take care of her family, be with her family, all that stuff. But, let's see how uh, Flyleaf does with Kristen May instead of Lacey Stern. Okay, so this album opens up with the lead single, Set Me On Fire, which is an okay track, but it doesn't really feel uh, like it offers anything special. And then we get into Magnetic, which has some nice lyrics, and I like the way they're presented, especially in the chorus. Um, and I think this would have been a much better lead single than Set Me On Fire, without a doubt. That, that's just my opinion. Traitor is the next song. Uh, it has some nice vocal presentation as well. Kristen's vocals kind of remind me a bit of Amy Lee's vocal style on this track particularly. But um, next we have Platonic, which feels bland and uninspired for the most part. Kristen's vocals shine for a little bit on this track, but the overall presentation just doesn't really impress me. Head Underwater is the next track. It has some solid lyrics and a decent bridge as well, but I feel like this song is, you know, mediocre at best. Sober Serenade feels like an anthemic song to me, and it not in the good way. Uh, despite the fact that Kristen does show some powerful vocals on this track, it just feels a bit preachy and, you know, boring. Uh, Thread is the next song. It's another song that I really like on this album. The instrumentalists are great, and Kristen's vocals really shine on this track. And uh, this track also has some uh, harmonization on the chorus that I really find enjoyable. Marionette is the next song. It has nice instrumentals in the intro, which are then fronted by the vocals. Again, the lyrics on this song really put it over the top. Well of Lies is the next song, and it has some interesting instrumentals, but they don't really click with me. I do like the vocal presentation on this song though. Very nice. City Kids, next song, is a pretty mellow track. But it does feature a scream that about two minutes in, and it's pretty harsh. I mean, the scream, uh, it's, it just comes out of nowhere pretty much. It does feel a little out of place, and it is recurring. However, the more I hear the scream in the song, the more I feel as though it belongs there. But I must say, it did startle me. Blue Roses is the next song. It's a solid track, and I do like the fact that Kristen goes into a higher octave on this song. And the final song, Home, features a bit of a mix of styles. To me, it feels like Kristen's vocals sound a little bit like Taylor Swift. Yep. And the instrumentals on the chorus a little bit sound like Green Day's song Brain Stew. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's interesting. Overall, though, I did enjoy the album a bit more than I thought I would. Uh, I'm not sure if I would say that Kristen is a better song, song singer than Lacey. But her voice does suit Flyleaf's style, and vice versa. Uh, favorites on this album, Magnetic, Thread, Marionette, and Blue Roses. Least favorites, Platonic and Sober Serenade. Overall, Between the Stars by Flyleaf gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me. What do you guys think of the album? Do you prefer Flyleaf with Lacey Sturm or Kristen May? Let me know. Facebook, SKFM, and now Tumblr down there.
in the description. Check it all out. That I'm Reviewer Guy, signing off.